Good morning. Michael Hare looking at Meditations on Manhood, 100 Devotions from Charles Spurgeon. At the section titled, A Man Fully Surrendered. And he uses the verse from Luke 19, 28 to 30, that reads, And when he had thus spoken, he went before, ascending up to Jerusalem. And it came to pass when he was come nice to Bethphage and Bethany, at the mount called the Mount of Olives, he sent two of his disciples, saying, Go ye into the village over against you, in the which at your entering ye shall find a cold tide, wherein yet never man sat, loose him and bring him thither. Reading that again from Luke nineteen twenty eight to thirty. And when he had thus spoken, he went before, ascending up to Jerusalem. And it came to pass, when he was come nigh to Bethphage and Bethany, at the mount called the Mount of Olives, he sent two of his disciples, saying, Go ye into the village over against you, in the which at your entering you shall find a cold tide, whereon yet never man sat. Loose him and bring him thither. And he writes, we must make an unreserved surrender of all to Jesus. Listen to these words. Whosoever he be of you that forsaketh not all that he hath, he cannot be my disciple. It may yet come to this, that persecution may arise, and you may have actually to give up all. You must be prepared for the event. You may not have to give up anything, but the surrender must be just as real in your heart as if it had to be carried out in act and deed. No man has truly given himself to Christ unless he also has said, My Lord, I give to thee this day my body, my soul, my powers, my talent, my goods, my house, my children, and all that I have. Henceforth I will hold them at thy will, as a steward under thee, Thine they are. As for me, I have nothing. I have surrendered all to thee. You cannot be Christ's disciples at any less expense than this. If you possess a farthing, that is your own and not your master's. Christ is not your master. It must be all his, every single jot and tittle, and your life also, or you cannot be his. O count ye then the cost. And if any of you have taken up a religion which cost you nothing, put it down and flee from it, where it will be your course and your ruin. Is there any getting to heaven without this cost? No. But may we not be Christians without these sacrifices? You may be counterfeits, you may be hypocrites, you may be brethren of Judas, but you cannot be real Christians. This cost is unavoidable. It cannot be baited one solitary might. God grant you may be enabled to submit to it. Amen. Oh, it does cost glory to our God, who giveth eternal life, blessings coming and going.